Hey guys, this is Baird, and today we're playing The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Why am I playing this game? Well, let me tell you. Yesterday, CD Projekt Red released their final free piece of DLC, the long-awaited New Game Plus mode. Before we get into that, I just want to say The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is one of the best games I've played, especially on the new consoles. If you haven't played this game, please go borrow it from a friend, rent it, do whatever, at least experience the game. It's awesome. The graphics look amazing, especially compared to the last game. It definitely deserves all the praise it gets. Now I bought my copy for Xbox One, but regardless of what console you go with, what you get with the retail copy of the game, I mean, it's just astounding. Um, it sounds like the manual um, of the game. They give you a compendium with like the lore of the Witcher universe, um, a couple Wolfhead stickers, which is pretty cool, um, a giant map of the game, the game soundtrack, which is freaking awesome, and even like a personal letter telling you how much they appreciate you for buying the game. Just for buying their game, you get access to 16 pieces of DLC for free. I mean, some of that stuff is like beard and hair customization, different kinds of armor, um, even horse armor. Um, some of it's uh, quests here and there, but they last maybe a few minutes. But still, it's all free. Most developers would charge for that stuff. And that's what I love about CD Projekt Red. They put a lot of care and effort into this. So you're probably asking yourselves, What's the deal with him not talking about New Game Plus mode? Why well, I am going to talk about it right now. To access the New Game Plus mode, make sure you download the New Game Plus DLC from the Xbox Games menu. Once you do, it will automatically be added to your game and will notify you with a text box. To start a New Game Plus, just click on New Game and you can choose what difficulty you want to play on. My first playthrough was on Story and Story because I'm a wimp. If you really want to be a man, play on Death March. Click through the other options to make sure you choose On under the New Game Plus mode. To start a new game plus, you must first choose a save mate after completing the standard version of the game. If you are unhappy with your skill choices in your last playthrough, at the start of this game you will also receive a clearing potion if you want to reset all your skill points and redistribute them into different areas. If you haven't reached level 30 after beating the main part of the game and choose to do new game plus, you automatically be bumped up to level 30. Now, if you were like me and played well over 100 hours because this game is awesome and because I have no life, and achieved a few levels higher, all your experience will carry over. With New Game Plus, all your weapons, armor, items, money, and alchemy recipes will carry over. All your Gwent cards, trophies, books, letters, and quest items will be reset. If you didn't get a chance to collect all your cards, or if you were like me and didn't really care about that part of the game, now's your chance to collect them all and get that awesome achievement. When you go to save your game in New Game Plus mode, you notice that there's a little plus icon next to the picture. This is to separate your New Game Plus save from your old save file. So that's pretty much it for New Game Plus mode. Most of your items carry over from your previous save file, like your Mastercraft of Swords and Wolf Armor. They took a couple hours to get, but now you look badass. Now you get to make new choices like Yen or Triss, or both, if you want to. Oh yeah! So go out there and slay some monsters, flirt with the ladies, and experience the world of the Witcher all over again. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos from me, click the subscribe button, leave me a thumbs up, and a comment telling me how great I am. Goodbye!